helping students with you know, performance-based assessment, with project-based learning. So the fact that you all are doing that, I think, is exactly the way we uh, sort of envisioned it to look. But with, with that said, I mean, what's the picture that you see three to five years from now? What, what is it you hope will be different about your school? Um, what is it you're hoping that you'll see in your classroom across the board? Well, I'll mention a few things, and then Bob will uh, jump in also. Uh, Bob mentioned that we have been really working on global competency for the last several years. And so our uh, partnership with ISSN allowed us to expedite that work because like any school district, you know, resources are what allow you to, uh, to move forward and to uh, implement different types of programs, et cetera. So, uh, that has helped us tremendously. So for our students, although we're a suburban school district on the edge of, a, of an urban center, we really have a low diversity in our community. Uh, so our students are not exposed to a lot of people of other races, ethnicities, cultures. And so we knew that our students were graduating at a disadvantage as they went to uh, college, as they went into the workforce because of that. And so along with career and college readiness, the we embed globalization and you know, you'll find that in the Common Core standards. And so that global work has become part of our mission. In the end of that conversation, Brandon, it's three to five years from now, first and foremost, we want to be able to say with a high degree of confidence that yes, our students are prepared to go on to the next level successfully. So we've incorporated some pretty rigorous benchmarks in terms of ACT, AP. Uh, we do a number of partnerships with the University of Cincinnati and Cincinnati State. So many of our students have the opportunity